to do an unboxing and present uh, my birthday present uh, and it is the DJI Mavic Pro and it's the fly more combo so we will have a look what's inside the boxes As I just mentioned, of course you get a box for the DJI Mavic Pro and you also receive a, another box which contains the shoulder bag and here's the package for the Fly More combo. That's what this looks like. So I think we start with the shoulder bag and maybe that's the most unexciting one some instruction manual that you shouldn't wash it and you get to attach the straps you have to put it right like this to snap it inside and on the other side and that's it then you can even put the Mavic Pro on your belt or you can just hang it around your neck and you have a little nice handle so here are the side pockets they are mashy from a mesh material. The front pocket, you can unzip it and put like SD cards or that kind of stuff inside there. Now here comes the front compartment. And the main compartment. where you also have this mesh material at the top and two big compartments for your controller and for the for the drone itself next up we have a look what's in the the fly more combo so that's the big package and that's the spare package where everything is inside to fly a little bit more as it says so inside we have first a battery charging hub which is a very very good accessory to have if you have more batteries because as the name says you put the charger the charging cable from the um, from the DJI Mavic right inside and you can charge up to four batteries at the same time you put them each of them at the uh, right here and then you can charge it so that's a good accessory to have next up we have the battery to power bank adapter but first we unbox the intelligent flight batteries so two intelligent flight batteries and with the Mavic Pro there comes one more uh, of course then you when you just purchase the Mavic then you can fly and so you have three batteries in total which gives you quite a nice flight time so 
So the batteries are absolutely small and really, really tiny, fully loaded. So of course I charged them and I already flew with the drone and I like my batteries charged. The second intelligent flight battery Again, fully charged and now we can unbox the battery power bank adapter and that's uh, an, a really good idea that they gave that accessory with the drone. You put this power bank adapter on the battery and then you have two USB charging hubs. If you go to a trip where you don't have any access to power, uh, uh, then you can just plug that on and use the charging cables to um, put some power on your controller or your iPhone or whatever phone you have and or your GoPro. Then we have the car charger Nothing much to say about that one. You have a charging option for the car. So that's the normal charging cable for the DJI Mavic. And last but not least, two spare folding. So a complete set, a total of four uh, propellers. So if you lose every propeller on your Mavic, you have spare propellers for the Mavic that you can fly more. So that's the name of the fly more box. So yeah, that's the fly more combo. And now let's have a look at the main part. And the main act is of course the drone itself. So that's like one of the nicest presents I've ever got. It is such an amazing piece of technology. So that comes in the box, it's the controller. It's already dirty. Damn, didn't fly so much yet. Then you have your charging cable. Some instruction manual for the intelligent flight battery. And on the charging hub, you also have two USB chargers so you can charge the drone as well as the controller and even your phone. So, but that's the cable you need to bring yourself. So that's the cable for charging the, the controller. Here are some spare connectors for the controller if you have an Android or any other phone. And here is the drone itself. The two top propellers are not mounted. So, but I've done that already. And that's basically what comes inside the box of the Mavic Pro. So to operate everything you need to unfold the propellers. You need to unfold this to stick your phone inside. So here's the lightning connector for the iPhone. Just plug it in. 61% battery. You switch that on. And next part is of course the drone you switch on, but that's something for a later video. But the drone is, as you can see, extremely small. You have this protector in front here, so you can either remove that or for the camera gimbal, I recommend you remove the complete thing so that the camera is free. 
And of course you should remove that. That if you leave that in, the gimbal uh, motors try to do something, it can break the gimbal. So always remove that. But for traveling, it's good to protect the gimbal. And that's the 4K camera. And you have two cameras in front that um, see if there's an obstacle or something like that. And in not all the modes, but uh, in the normal mode up to a, a specific speed, the camera, uh, those two cameras will prevent the drone from crashing into something. So that's a really nice feature. On the bottom of the drone, you have these two ultrasonic or ultrasound sensors and also two cameras which uh, make a photo of the location where you've started and try to, and then it tries to, um, if it returns to home, fly back to the exact same position. And that's the how you unfold the drone. So at first you unfold the front wings and then the back wings. It, it's really easy and it's absolutely amazing. So I'll show you how to remove the battery. It's also fully charged. You press these two buttons on the side and that's it. Then you remove it. And that's the way you stick it back. On that side, you've got an, a little port that you, I think, never use because firmware upgrades and that kind of stuff you do um, via iPhone when it's connected with a controller to your drone. And on the other side, on the other side here, behind this flap, you have your micro SD card slot and that little switch which you can which is now an RC so remote control that is connected to the only remote control but you can switch it over to Wi-Fi and then you can even control the drone just with your iPhone but to, to a very minimum range so not a total range of seven kilometers um, total distance away from you. Uh, you cannot achieve that with your phone. Uh, you can only achieve that with a remote control. And that's it basically. So it's absolutely small when you fold it together. So it fits like in a camera bag. Uh, and I will do a future video of my what's in my camera bag, um, like in my really big camera bag, but I need to wait a little bit more. So we put that back together, that the lens and the gimbal is protected. And that's like the size of the whole unit. And um, yeah, let's fold it back. And I haven't had much time to try all the flight modes and um, all the stuff you can do with that drone. But uh, I think it will give me some nice footage in the future. And here's a little bit of what I've shot till today. <laughs> Good night, good night, good night, good night.